Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about mucosal lesions in oral pathology. So first lesion we are going to talk about is linea alba. So what do you see in linea alba is, I want you to imagine like biting your cheek. So when you bite your cheek, you can notice like, you know, you will feel immense pain in that moment. Like when you're eating something, suddenly you bite your cheek instead of your food. Then you might feel like a sensation, right? That is nothing but linear, linear alpha. And it looks like a white line on buccal mucosa. I'll just write down the points. So it is nothing but white line on buccal mucosa. It is a type of frictional hyperkeratosis. Now, what is meant by hyperkeratosis is it is a common white lesion caused by chronic friction on mucosa. It is nothing but caused due to chronic friction on mucosa. Okay. Next, we have traumatic ulcer. We have come across this many times. We have seen this in our practice as well as I hope you all might be aware of traumatic ulcer. This actually mimics oral cancer, but this is completely benign. So it is common. It can occur due to infections. Next, we have chemical burn. These are present as ulcers. They can be caused due to aspirin, hydrogen peroxide, silver nitrates, and phenol. Next, we have nicotine stomatitis. So, what happens over here is on the right side, there is a picture of um, of a person who has, you know, he, he might have quit smoking. But the point I'm trying to explain over here is, if you notice a person who smokes, their palate is usually white, white than, the, it will be more white than this picture. I'll try to insert a picture in my next class, okay? So, and you see here, what am I trying to explain exactly is here. If you see, it's very much red. Right? Why is it red means the salivary duct openings, that is orifices, open up and it looks swollen. Okay, this is not considered, it is not considered as a pre-malignant lesion unless it is related to reverse smoking. Okay, next we have amalgam tattoo. Amalgam tattoo, here, here you can see amalgam over here, right? What is amalgam tattoo is it will be implanted in mucosa. It is nothing but um, in x-ray you might notice like for example, you're taking an x-ray, okay? You might see some particles, but when you examine, it will just look like amalgam. Do not confuse it. There is no biopsy needed for it at all. It might be over the time, amalgam might be deposited over there when you do not do a proper condensation or amalgam might have just leaked out of there and it will look like what it looks in the picture and biopsy is not needed for that. Next, we have smoking associated melanosis. So it is smoking induced definitely. And it is brown. It is brown color, diffuse and irregular macules can be seen. And anterior gingiva is the most common site. And once you smoke, so you stop smoking, this can be reversed. So once smoking is stopped, this condition can be reversed. Okay, now you have melanotic macule. Melanotic macule, here on the lip, you can see the melanotic macule on the right side. It is most common melanocyte lesion and it is mostly present 
because of uh, as a post inflammatory response or it can be like an unknown reason so mostly it can be because of post inflammatory response it is nothing but brown color lesion you can see over here on the lip or it can be unknown reason also or it can be also associated with a syndrome and that syndrome is called as feared jeggers syndrome it is nothing but a benign intestinal polyp polyp means a growth so you can see an intestinal growth in those patients also you can see melanotic macule now coming to drug induced pigmentation because of using some drugs there might be pigmentation seen in those patients like um, minocycline or chloroquine patients whoever have taken these kind of drugs they can have drug induced pigmentation okay now you have hairy tongue hairy tongue is nothing but filiform pap papillae when it is elongated it looks like hairy tongue that's why you see on the tongue like this projections kind of a thing now you have dentrifice associated slough what happens is due to the surfactants used in some toothpaste this condition might arise mainly due to sodium lauryl sulfate so in those cases you can see here white color a slough over here that can be because of the surfactant used so the patient might be advised to use toothpaste that do not contain this so that he would not have to face this situation so these all are the mucosal lesions in oral pathology so let's have a quick review now linear alba is nothing but when you bite a cheek you might notice a white line on the buccal mucosa it is nothing but a type of frictional hyperkeratosis now what is frictional hyperkeratosis it is nothing but a common white lesion that is caused because of chronic friction on mucosa now we have traumatic ulcer this is very much common and it mimics oral cancer and it can be seen due to infections chemical burn occurs when certain things come in contact with the um, the buccal mucosa like aspirin hydrogen peroxide silver nitrates and phenols now we have nicotine stomatitis so what happens in nicotine stomatitis is you can see the reddish color in the picture that's because the salivary duct orifices are open and this is not considered as a pre malignant lesion until there is a river smoking amalgam tattoo is nothing but particles of amalgam might have leaked out of the uh, cavity preparation or it might have uh, the condensation might have not done properly but at the end there might be little bit amalgam deposited which gets implanted over the time there is nothing to worry about it it looks like some floating particles in the x ray next we have smoking associated melanosis it is completely because of smoking it is brown color and diffuse and irregular mostly anterior gingiva is the most common site and this condition can be stopped if the person stops smoking then we have melanotic macule it is most common melano like lesion melanocytic lesion and uh, what happens over here is it can be post inflammatory or syndrome associated and the syndrome associated with this is ford jeggers syndrome which is nothing but benign intestinal polyp like the growth seen in the intestine now we have drug induced pigmentation it can be because of chloroquine or minocycline because of using certain drugs there might be a pigmentation associated next we have hairy tongue this is nothing but the filiform papillae is elongated next we have dentrifice associated slough this is because of the surfactant used there can be like a slough you can see on the right side the white color slough you can see more clearly so if you stop using this in the toothpaste then we can make sure that the patient is not getting this kind of situation so thanks for watching and in case you did not subscribe to my channel please do like share and subscribe thank you